my friends! Today we're continuing to play through the Minecraft versions, and this episode we are on 1.3. If you're new around here, welcome! I'm Dee, and I started playing Minecraft in 1.19, but I've run into so much nostalgia for the old days of Minecraft and wanted to check them out for myself. So, let's see what these older versions are all about. Step 1. Yes, we're starting a new world again. Ooh, look at that terrain! Uh, you gonna, there, there ya go, there ya go. Oh, that took a second. We are actually right in a jungle. This is purple. What is, what is happening here? Last time around, I realized that there were actually multiple major updates that happened within like the 1.2 updates. And so we didn't get to see the different wood types and so I'm really excited about that. There's also a solid number of updates in 1.3. Okay, the, the top of the log texture is still the same. I knew that got updated at a different time. Oh, and we have cocoa beans! That didn't even register! Are those new this version or were they a last version thing? Also, are those vines on the bottom of a block? How interesting. Alright, let's look at these planks. There they are! Heck yeah! Versus our oak wood planks. Nice. You know, I hadn't really noticed ferns yet. I hadn't I hadn't taken note of the texture. It's interesting. Alright, let's go just like mine the stone out of the side of this mountain. I think we're gonna do a pretty like straightforward kind of playthrough. Kind of like last time where we don't do Oh, that's a village over there. Oh, that's perfection. Because oh, that's my cue. Today, our objective is to loot emeralds to trade with a villager. This update contains a lot of things, but being able to trade with villagers was a major part of that update. Now, looting emeralds was a really big part of this objective, and the thing is that, as far as I know, at this point in the game, you can only loot emeralds from one place, and that is, well, a jungle pyramid. Which is why I've chosen a seed for today's episode, which is going to be up on the screen and down in the description. Any jungle saplings? A single one. I, I see, I see. The sapling problem has always been a problem. Now, let's book it over to this village, because I'm not seeing too many plains types of things. Maybe there will be some sheep or something, but I'm not seeing mobs yet. Let's see, the sun is heading in that direction though, and I'd rather have a little bit of shelter. Ooh, coal, don't mind if I do. And cave sounds, yay. Wait, wait, the coal's dropping XP, wait. Oh my goodness. That's fantastic, did it, did it do that? Is that, is that this version? Is that new now? I love the sandstone being used in the village. So desert villages are new as of this update as well. All right, let's take a look. What have we got? Some apples, some saplings, some iron. That's fantastic, actually. I will take that. Now, do any of the other houses have loot in them? What is happening here? No chests, it seems. Um. Well, there's only one lamp, lamp thing in this village. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just kind of set myself up in a little house for the night. <gasps> oh, there's the, there's the trading. Ah, excellent. Wait, can you scroll through or is this just what there is? Okay, you guys, we can't all crowd into this house. That's unreasonable. Oh my god. No, 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 no. You guys have always been menaces, haven't you? Well, it seems that we don't have cookies yet, I think. I think. How do you... Oh, no, there they are. All right. Don't mind if I do. Oh, good gravy. I swear, if they try to come in here... Oh! Oh! like that.
I forgot that they are able to break doors and that like zombie raids in villages specifically are a thing. Oh, there goes the door. Oh man, I don't like this at all. This is terrible. This is actually terrifying. Are they gonna be able to actually break through? Anyways, while that ruckus is going on upstairs, let's also talk about a couple of other things that were added to the game in 1.3. We got ender chests. Thank goodness, right? We didn't get any new mobs, but of course we have all the village stuff. We also got cocoa beans, cocoa pods, etc. We got the things that generate in jungle temples like tripwire and tripwire hooks. This is also the version where you started being able to silk touch ice, which answers a question that I had in the last episode. We also, and this is one that I thought was really funny, um, is we're now able to grow another wart in the overworld and the end, which if you'll recall, I tried growing netherware. I just kind of plopped it down in the house and it never grew in my 1.0 world and I had no idea what was going on there. So that's funny and nice to get that answered, you know? I honestly, ooh, that's a cave. I was about to say, I honestly don't know why I'm mining other than to get some, get some resources. And I think I've gotten those resources and we're just gonna nope away from the cave. They do be trying their darndest. The sun's coming up, so hopefully we don't have to deal with it. There we go. Right on cue. Oh, did our villagers die? Our villagers may have died. What if we took up residence in a library again? That went well for us in our super flat world, right? That went great. Oh, good gravy. All right, we'll come back and continue doing some farming, but First, actually, let's take some wheat with us in case we want to actually bring sheep back. But I don't think we should. Um, but maybe pigs or something like that. Um, excuse me, can I get some seeds from you? Oh my goodness. All right. Oh, there's some cows. Hello, cows. Do I lure them across the desert and make sustainable food? I probably should do that. Ooh, look at that ravine. There are the sheep. What is with all the lighting glitches, though? Like, they're bad. There's some wolveses. That's why the sheep are all down in the ravine. They were running away. Is that a mushroom in a tree? Oh, there's some sheep. All right. I'm just going to kill the sheep um, to grab the wool. We do need a better food source than cookies. So, my lovely little cows. Oh, hey, look at them. They're already so interested. Cowses. Cowses. Come along, cowses. Come with me. We're going to trek across the desert. All of us. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's all your fault, bud. You just kind of come here into the village and then hang out and roam about. Let's see how that works. It was after recording this that I realized that I... Editing D should be reading your comments from the previous videos. So, I'm going to read some of your nostalgic Minecraft stories from the comments of my 1.0 and 1.1 videos while past D, present D, does some resource gathering and surviving. User Look at Min for Me said one of the fun things about early days Minecraft actually was the lack of in game documentation like the crafting book. A lot of your info would come from word of mouth, either from people who also played that, you know, IRL, or in one of the online forums. From my recollection, most of what I learned came from Minecraft forums and from getting involved in texture pack creation. That's why things like Herobrine were able to spread as easily as they did, because that's how we learned everything about the game. So the word of mouth Herobrine didn't seem out of place. User Apteryx Drake said, I bought a copy in beta. I remember the crafting recipes because they came in shapes, like a pickaxe looks like a pickaxe, etc. If you learned the shape, you learned the recipe. I learned a lot of the recipe shapes from walkthroughs. And the clearest thing I remember of early game stuff was that there wasn't a bed function, so I mined at night and build slash farmed in the day. So one of the earliest things I made was a clock, which is hilarious. 
Um, and also kind of a terrifying way for the game to work. I'm very glad we have beds now. Ixie had many things to say about this, which were very fun to read through, but my absolute favorite is that on their first night ever, they had a thunderstorm and got the skeleton horse trap that spooked the hell out of me. I also spawned in an ocean, which I was very afraid of. This one really cracked me up where they said, I had never gotten to the stronghold. Why? Well, simple. I threw an eye and it went into the sky. So I made a gigantic tower only to find no end portal and then gave up, LOL. Moving on to the 1.1 video. User CD47 said, I used to have quite a few super flat creative worlds back in the day. I remember one had a small city populated by pets and was connected to the little city my sister had in that same world, which was honestly really cute. That is very cute. And one was basically just a big skyscraper made out of diamond ore and oak planks. Very tacky, but honestly not that ugly. I had a bunch of sky bridges right near the build limit of the time with farms and whatnot. I always had to keep them on peaceful mode or else slimes would just not leave me alone. Ixie said, usually I got music discs randomly, most of the time in caves. I just believed they were a rare drop, kind of like zombies dropping potatoes. I hope you enjoyed looking back at other people's nostalgia as well as your own. It's been really, really fun to hear all of your stories, so keep them coming in and I will keep reading them. I just realized I've been walking around on top of these crops. I haven't been shifted and... They don't seem to be breaking. I don't know when that was added. I'm gonna have to go look into that, but like, that's nice. That's helpful. <laughs> okay, so I know the vague direction of the nearest jungle temple in this world, but we don't really have actual cardinal directions given us, but we do know where the jungle itself is. Ooh, hey, you can actually like, Shift click them into the the container. Oh yeah, also, we didn't experience this in the last one. I wonder if we'll experience it here though. Apple trees. Hi, can I? Rude. App, er, not apple trees, but oak trees also have a chance of dropping apples. So they get randomly assigned professions. Ooh, a written book. For emeralds. Interesting. That, that trading UI, it looks way different. All right. We do get XP. Oh, that's awesome. Now, I don't remember getting XP in the last version, um, in 1.2, so I'm pretty sure that this must be new of this version. Okay, come with me, guys. Come with me, cows. You gotta stick together, you're a family. That means you, buddy. That means you, come on. Also, I love the Cocoa Pod textures. I love how they kind of glow, the, the like fully grown texture glows a little bit almost. It's really cool. One thing that I've noticed is that when you go in and out of your inventory and like crafting tables and stuff like that, all the different UIs, like when you go in and out, it kind of randomizes where you're actually looking. You know, I'm looking straight ahead and I go into my inventory and I come back out and I'm looking over here now, right? And that has been absolutely trippy. And considering some of the other things that are updated in here, I'm kind of surprised that that hadn't been dealt with. Does, does that mean what I think it means? <sighs> Sounds like it might. <sighs> The creeper is the scary part here. Oh no, okay, okay. Oh, there goes the spawner. That's fine. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ooh, buckets, excellent. I had a question about buckets, actually. What was that question? Oh, I remember what my question about buckets was. All right, cowses. I need to know. Can I milk you? <gasps> I can! It doesn't make the cool noise, but I can. All right, come on, everybody. Come on. Dinner time. Breakfast. Breakfast. Breakfast time. You two. No, 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 no. Where are you guys going? Come back here. Come on. Everybody come back. All right. Well, I think this is the time where we make ourselves a book. <gasps> Look at that. That's the crafting recipe I know and love. And then if we also add these guys together, we get a book and quill. And then, 
high. Then we sign and close it. And then we see if we can find the villager who, uh, I think it was the guy in like the white apron-y thing, I think. Did our, did our written book trader disappear? Oh, he might be the guy down in the hole, actually. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Yeah, you are. Can I put, <gasps> look at that. And there's no advancement for it. One thing that I've noticed about these villagers and their trades, actually, is that we don't get to give them emeralds for anything right away. Yeah, they give us the emeralds. Step two. There are gonna be emeralds in those pyramid chests. I'm not sure exactly where this jungle temple is, but I do know that it is in the closest jungle to spawn. I wasn't expecting to spawn basically in the jungle though. So, yeah, we just kind of got to start tracking along. Oh, there were sheep right there all along. Of course there were. I love how vibrantly green jungles are. It's a great addition to this game. I imagine, I feel like anyways, that jungles would be like really popular um, building areas. Look at this. This is so pretty. I have to take a screenshot of this. Anyways. I feel like jungles would have been like popular early game like biomes to build in or like early Minecraft not early game okay these are not jungle anymore let's get to another high vantage point I keep seeing like the glimpses of fully ripe cocoa pods and going <gasps> burb but it is not burb so far, I haven't spotted anything, and it feels like we're kind of at the end of this jungle. I'm gonna scooch around the edge here, but then we're probably gonna kind of cut around a different way. Oh! Oh! Oh, wait! Oh! It is on the edge, edge. Oh my goodness! Hey, hey! Alright, I'm so glad. I'm so glad the mossy cobblestone texture got updated. It's kind of terrible. Um, alright, so I've only actually been in these, like, a couple of times. But we did it, guys! We found one! Alright. So. I know that jungle pyramids now generate- well, and they s they started generating with, like, tripwire. And I know that there are secrets and puzzles and things like that around. Yeah, so like this thing. So this is a puzzle. Let's go through and light the whole thing up. Oh, there's the tripwire. And... Yeah! We've got some like special redstone wiring. And there's some more tripwire on the floor there in front of the chest. Let's look in the chest. Oh, no. Alright, well. That didn't start off well. Oh! Oh, pretty ocelot! There we go. Now we can drop down in there. I don't know how we get back out, though. <laughs> oh no! There are no emeralds in here? That's unfortunate. Are we sure there aren't any other chests around? Are there just the two? Like, gold? Great. Iron? Excellent. Bones? Those are, those are okay too. But we did kind of want emeralds. We wanted to loot them. My recording had stopped itself, but we are back. We went to our desert village again, and now I'm gonna head off this direction I pulled up Seed Finder, Cedar, and realized that there's one that's kind of across the ocean from me. But look at this, guys. When I walk across the biome line, the sky color changes. I don't know how well YouTube will show that, but that's really cool. The more you know, I guess. And I want you guys to know that even though I did pull up Cedar to kind of look around and see if I had any good options to trek to, I do not have the exact coordinates of the temple. So, we're still doing a little bit of explorage while also keeping this series from being too stressful for me. So, gotta balance things, you know? And then we go chug, 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 chug in our little boat. Hey, that's a little piece of land. 
Is that attached to a bigger piece of land or is it just... Okay, this boat is really fun though. Look at it go! That's so cute! I think it's so funny. Oh, I'm kind of... Oh. Oh, I have two sets of legs. Oh, that's funny. I love it. It's hilarious. This jungle seems to be pretty thin. Like, you can see all the way from one side of it over to the other, more or less. Oh, another cute little pool in the middle of the jungle. Do jungles, like, specifically generate like this? Is this, like, just a thing? Oh, there it is. It is up on a hill. Like, look at the look at the way it's situated over that ravine. Oh, this is another perfect screenshot, though. Gold and bones. Let's see if this chest does us any better. And no emeralds. Oh, dear. This is um, a little harder than I was prepared for. <laughs> not gonna lie. Step three. There were not emeralds in those pyramid chests. I feel like we've done the due diligence of the spirit of this particular objective. We've been to not one, but two jungle temples, jungle pyramids. So, like, that's kind of a big deal. Um, let's make our way back this way. Okay, see, here, here, this is, this is what I've been talking about. The mushrooms, and it's not the jungle trees. I thought it might be the jungle trees, but no, these are oak leaves. But they are growing on them, which is really cool. I, like, I hate that you can't pick them up again. I really actually genuinely love this little boat situation though, this early game boat, the little animation. Yeah, just, it's so small and cute. And I love that we have oars now, like those are great, but it's so adorable. And then the whole double pairs of legs situation is interesting. Let's put it that way. What if we trekked across this desert by foot and just, you know, saw if we could, oh, I only just, it only just really registered with me that like, we bumped up against the land and then the boat broke. That's what made the boat break. Oh, this looks like a well, actually. Here's the thing about the jungle temp, or I don't know why I keep calling them temples. Anyway, it's the jungle pyramids. I was promised emeralds and diamonds as part of, <laughs> as part of the chest loot, but no, no, we couldn't have those. I don't think we have enough gold, otherwise I would maybe try to make like an enchanted golden apple, but oof, that takes a lot of gold. I'm pretty sure that the ingots version doesn't actually give you any special effects. I'm not sure though. You know what? We've got plenty of gold. Let's try it out. And here we are back home again. No desert pyramids, which is sad, but you know what? It's fine. Let's go ahead. We're going to need to get a little more wheat, I think, to try trading with villagers. But eventually, I want to be able to buy something from them. I'm not sure if you actually can, but, you know, it's worth a shot, right? But let's try making a golden apple. Oh, it's just gold nuggets. That's what. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Golden apple. Let's try eating this. Okay, so it gives us... It fills up two health, or two hunger, and gave us just a few seconds of regen. Interesting. Okay. I imagine at this point in the game, golden apples would be like a really popular form of food since there's not much else you can do with gold. All right, let's find our local villagers. There's one over there. And I think we still have the one that's down the hole, and there might be another one now. Oh, hello. Can I sell some wheat to you. Three emeralds. Woo! Processing. Pink bubbles. Do we have a trade update? That'd be really cool. Ooh, and now we can trade him raw chicken. <laughs> they are all the way down at the bottom of the staircase. Of course they are. Hello, you fine gentleman. Now, you had updated your trade, but it doesn't seem to actually be updated. And you just trade chicken. All right. I'm curious, like, what villagers actually sell, you know? That's, at the end of the day, what I want to figure out. Hello, little baby chicken. Can I give you? No, I cannot. All right. Good to know. You. You. Oh, no, no, no. You Don't you walk away from me. No. Come back. You come out this way. There's a lot less cactus over here. 
You'll have a little buddy. Oh, there's another buddy. There's another chicken friend. All right, I'm gonna go get the other chicken friend. Is this enough? Is this enough? Uh, iron to make a third bucket and maybe make a cake? The thing about trading with villagers is you don't get to pick their professions. They just have a randomly assigned profession. However, does that mean they still trade only within that profession? Because the one guy started with just wheat, right? And then he kind of upgraded and went to chicken. But then we have another guy that started at chicken. So I'm a little bit confused about how that works, actually. Hello, cows. I just come to get myself a little bit of milk. Keep up the good work. I'm gonna go find our favorite little villager again. Hello, good sir. Are you around? Did you wander yourself in here as well? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. All right, oof. Okay, this guy. Can I get another emerald from you? Thanks, bud. All right, let's make us a cake as fast as we can. Why are we putting buckets of milk in this thing, though? That's the real question. And hey, we get buckets, and the achievement is called the lie. Excellent. Now, I really love the item texture, and now I need to, like, set it down somewhere where I can see it in all its glory. Let's see if we can put it on the crafting table. Nope. What about there? There we go. <gasps> It's so cute. I actually think I like this texture a little better than what we have. I do like that what we have now is a little darker. I like the top texture. I like that. It's not too different, though. One thing that I'm a little sad that I haven't done much with because of the nature of these videos is the technical side of things. I will take that. Thank you. you. Because, like, technical Minecraft is probably the thing I enjoy the most. I don't know. I enjoy lots of different aspects of Minecraft, but I do really love technical Minecraft. But I would definitely love to, like, I don't know, at least learn about what technical Minecraft was like. And that goes back to the whole, I want to watch some older YouTubers, but especially, like, the technical Minecraft YouTubers like Etho and Doc. All right, we have a couple more written books. Hello, speaking of... I was just talking about you. All right, what have you got for me? Ooh, we can buy bookshelves. Look at that. You, sir, are a legend. That's our first purchase from a villager. And I feel like I should have waited now to put the, the cake down, but it's fine. I want to upgrade the other villager that we've been using and see if, like... He also allows you to buy it from him. That's kind of what I want to do before I finish up here. But while I'm going about working on making that happen, I do have some thoughts about the game so far. And I haven't done one of these since our, our 1.0 video. So like things have changed a little bit and there's differences in the gameplay. There's differences in like the things that are available to you in the game. And I think so far, all of it has been very positive change. You know, you can walk on crops without destroying them. Like, that's huge. The mob AI feels a little better to me at this point. Unfortunately, crafting's not really any better. But I do hope that that update will come soon. But generally, it's been really cool to see this develop. Getting more blocks, getting more items, getting more mobs. I cannot express this enough. The fact that sheep can now regrow their wool just by eating grass. Amazing. Perfection. Exactly the kind of thing that needed an update, right? A lot of what I've heard from people is that they tended to really like the game still. Uh, you know, people who, who don't like the new versions of Minecraft specifically. Is that they don't like... Specifically the 1.16 update, I feel like, is the general like area that I've heard. Anyways, let me know if you're one of those people, cause I know I have some of you in my audience. Let me know if you're one of those people who like prefers the older versions of Minecraft and is like, I don't play new versions. Let me know like when that kind of started for you, when you felt like I don't like Minecraft anymore because they've just updated it too much. I'm curious. Hello, sir. May I trade with you some more? 
How lovely. <gasps> there we go. Do we get to buy something? Do we get to buy something? Do we get to buy something? Please, 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 let, 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 me, let me buy something. I want to see the kinds of things I can get. <gasps> okay. Oh. He just... Wait, that was the lava sound. That freaked me out. He just completely changed his trades. <gasps> no. I don't like that. No. Yeah, no, villager trading definitely needed additional updates. Sheesh. We managed to trade a bookshelf. I feel like we can't just, like, trade for the bookshelf and then not place it in the world, right? May I please purchase a couple of bookshelves from you? And let's see if your trades update as well. You've bubbled away. Let's see what you have for us. Nothing. Gotcha. All right. See, the sad thing is that this place already has lots of bookshelves. But we can always add a few more. We can always stand to have some more bookshelves. I had a lot of fun wandering this world, especially going and, like, seeing the jungle temples. And I just really love the generation of jungles. They look really, really nice. And I don't think they generate quite like that anymore. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Perfect. No notes about the jungles except the, the parrots. We know those come later. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. Do give it a like if you enjoyed it. And consider subscribing. I will see you all in the next one. Bye!